Hey, it's true that healthy and strong relationships are not void of conflict. All relationships have contention here and there, but what matters, we're told, is how you handle that conflict. In fact, my next guest says that we can redirect all unhappy conversations into a happier and healthier place by following a conversational model. Studio 5 relationship contributor Dr. Matt Townsend is here to explain. Great to see you. Good to see you. I'm singing. I love that means it. I'm happy. That means I'm happy you're That's here. The you, you say that we can all compare healthy and unhealthy conversations to a shape. There's a shape that's involved. And by the way, this has been the shape for centuries. Okay. So it, it's a smiley face. So the healthiest conversations are a U-shaped face. Uh -huh. Okay. And there's a lot of research from Otto Sharman is one guy and Bill Isaacs about this pattern of the conversation. Now a healthy conversation is a smiley face, an unhealthy one just kind of is the like a really bad water slide okay. that you want to get off of <laughs> that you've got whiplash. So our goal is to, to be able to, it always starts positive and then sure. we slide down. But if there's just a few things we have to do right at the bottom and it'll turn it back up. To kick it up. Boom, we're gonna teach you what, each one of those are fields that we go through. Uh -huh. And we even create a history of our fields. So a lot of us have never passed this bottom part to pull back up. So we just go with the flow. We ride the water slide. we're gonzo. Stay and off the water slide. Drowning in the bottom of a pool. So work the fields well, uh -huh. all and, the way up. And I will show you. Each one of them is a really important step. Okay, five fields of conversations, yeah. as you said, that help us move to that happier path. The first is a field of politeness. Politeness. You've all been in a conversation where somebody's saying that something that's really offensive, uh -huh. and you're just politely thinking, wow, okay. <laughs> They're saying that. You just said that out of your mouth. And we're still polite yeah. and we're nice. So politeness is always the beginning of any conversation. It's like, we have a lot of energy to handle it. Yeah. That was nice. I'm not gonna tear you apart. Our I'm tolerance not gonna, is high. Yeah, I'm good, yeah. it's good. And that politeness starts to wear you down and you start to think, well, that's offensive or that needs to be corrected. Uh -huh. And the politeness eventually wanes and it goes away. Okay. okay? And when it goes away, it's, that's the first field is politeness. A lot of people think good conversation is all politeness. Mm. But a lot of us are sitting, we've been stuck being polite and people aren't changing, they're not growing, nothing's happening. So we're exhausted by politeness. I can see even a family hovering in this oh, yeah. field of politeness and mm -hmm. never truly connecting. I know people that have never had conflict. We never yeah. fight. We just slowly suck the life out of each other. <laughs> But we're going to heaven. So it's like all of these weird ideas. But you're not, the goal with this is we got to get through the conflict and then create something new out of it. Yeah, grit, grow. When the politeness goes away, we get to the next field, which is like the breakdown field. Okay. That's where people have had it. Okay, and something's gonna be said. And I'm gonna say it, and we don't usually say it in the best way, we're not, we kind of have lost the politeness, and the breakdown is where we just start throwing out insults, back and forth, Roe v. Wade, anti Roe v. Wade, you can get into any topic yeah. on earth, and it gets ugly It'll in, break that, down. in the breakdown. You'll know you're in the breakdown because no one's thinking anymore, everyone's just reacting. Mm -hmm. And because we're not thinking, we're not even using our own actual thoughts. We're using the sound bites that we've learned the, mm -hmm. and by listening to certain things and watching certain things. Mm -hmm. So we're just regurgitating it, but no one's really in charge. Once you're feeling that, you'll know it because the tension will go up, I'll be more mad, I'm not, no one's understanding each other, and no one's being influenced. Then you enter this moment of this chaos where are you, so there's this turning point. Okay. This is the kind of the bottom. Now the only thing you gotta decide is, are, are, do you wanna go up or not? Because if you want to go up, the next stage or field is presencing, I call it. Okay. Be present. Like, let's start to have a real engagement with this person. Mm -hmm. And what it kind of means is try to figure out why are you reacting? Why is what they're saying so offensive that you're breaking down? Why are you reacting to them so much? Catch your breath. Yeah. <sighs> Breathe it out, get mindful, get present. Get quiet. Get at first. I mean, because there's some thoughtfulness yeah, to that, right? I, uh -huh. We've lost our ability as I cut no, you no, off. I'm I sorry. love it. We've lost our ability just to sit here and listen yeah. and process. Like we're uh -huh. so quick to respond. And, and part of that's because we're in that reactive mode. But once I'm presencing, I can start to notice I'm reacting now. Yeah. So once that's what's neat about being a human is we can see our reaction and we don't just have to do it. Mm -hmm. Right? So if I stop, breathe. And just start like asking, what do I want most here? What do I want out of this? Mm -hmm. How do I stay connected? How do I stay in? Mm -hmm. How do I turn this? If you can just stop the hijacking of your emotion from happening and just stay present, 
breathing, thinking. By the way, once you've done this a lot, it becomes a field that you can naturally enter anytime you need to enter it. Okay. Then the next thing you do, and this is the great moment, you inquire. Mm. I'm now going to get into you because I wasn't listening very well there, and I think I started getting carried away in my old thoughts. Help me understand more what you're actually thinking about this issue. Mm. Talk to me about that. Where did you get that insight? What, why does it make you feel that way? Yeah. Why do you want to do that? And the more, what I'm trying to do is move from being fragmented to whole. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to actually move from your idea is a fragment, my idea is a fragment, but there's no wholeness to the idea. Mm -hmm. So instead, if I can stay with you and inquire and try to inquire into why would a loving, decent, caring human think this way? Mm -hmm. So help me understand where you came from on this issue and go with them. And by the way, you know what else it forces the other to do is defend, not even to defend, but explain. And a lot of them, a lot of people don't know how to explain the third or fourth iteration. Yeah. They only can explain one version because they only have a few talking points. Be but because nobody listens, they never have to go to the fifth talking point or the 50th. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to get in and get more real. So how do you take that idea and make it justify with your other beliefs? Help me understand and that. And it goes deeper, which mm -hmm. results in, you say, this final field of connection. Yep, and that final field is now we're more connected we're more unified. I don't have to agree with you, but now I know where you co you're coming from. Mm -hmm. And now I know how you got there. And what you'll find out a lot of times when you get to connection, we're not even, we don't even believe half as much as we argued in the beginning, in the breakdown stage. Mm -hmm. We don't even believe as much, but we feel a need to hold tight to it. So when we're now connecting, you can now relax and know that I'm with you and I can go on these hard journeys with you and we can still end not knowing how to solve it or how to fix it, but we now have a different meaning and a different understanding. It's called koinonia, which, is a, which means brotherhood. We now have a fellowship of healing on this issue. And then eventually that can be brought up in the next stage and we create another yep. healthy conversation and we just keep doing it. I love this it's awesome. so much. Matt, cool stuff. you're so good. You really yeah. are. Well, Thanks so for good. sharing. Oh, your, you. I was like right here listening yeah, and really? learning. I'm the luckiest <laughs> gal to have this right front row there. seat. Um, and you can have a front row seat too if you want to attend one of Matt's workshops. Yeah. You've got a communication workshop real coming Real communication, up. real results, uh, nine in the morning to four. Boom, June 4th, go to matttownsend.com. We'll spend all day helping you and your significant other yeah. that doesn't know how to communicate, obviously. That's why we're going to bring them. <laughs> and we're going to help them learn to communicate and make this smiley face in our conversations. I love that so much. Sign up for the communication course, Your People Told My People. It's filling up. It's almost up. Yep. So get going. Thank you. That Thank was awesome. You're, You're awesome. We'll be right back.